And you are what? A good farmer or a pig farmer? Good farmer. You're a good farmer? Yeah. Alright. So what kind of operation you have? Uh, grazing, uh, grazing, you know. No cut and carry? Uh, yeah, I cut and carry for some goat for a little bit. Okay, how much females? Right now, I'm standing up probably now. Uh, Somewhere in I 50 bracket. Oh nice. Mr. Face is also one of the one of the farmers. Very, very big. He used to be bigger than this. Yeah man, we have but 170 he, when Mr. Bernard. Yeah man. What him do, he usually rear him goat them and when he reach a big number, mm -hmm. him sell them and you know and buy what he wants. Like maybe a new van or him buy anything that he wants to support okay. himself. And he's also one of the farmers who is very, very, very knowledgeable. I mean he knows almost everything about goat. He can sustain himself in the goat um, rearing business. Yeah, man, we have, we have what are your major constraints so you find rearing animals in a system like this? Like challenge? Yeah, major challenges. Alright, one, one of the biggest challenge you will have if like, you have dog and you have feet. Mm -hmm. So you see, if you can, um, if you know how to approach that now, you will find out that you know to have the problem there because when you leave go to bush because we graze we graze for the open field over by that side yeah. so dogs cold time you have dogs so if you if you when know you mean that, cold time when the time gets cold down in a december time uh -huh. early january and so when the time gets cold the dogs then tend to walk the bush oh. so then we just kill the animal them and suck the blood and gone right and teeth now you have to be careful because you are out in a bush sometimes it's a one man a feed we are feed like a 80 goat, 100 goat. You know, so that's a challenge for you watch 100 goat and I watch yourself. So like about how much different farmers you have grazing that land out across? Alright, um about four. Four farmers. Mm -hmm. We have four farmers. Roach, um, Roach, Dalton, Craig and Kevin, yeah, and myself. Um yes. But they have call to. They have call to but other than that. The grazing all right, you know, because you know a grass, but me use feed to know. So me use speed but the type of feed and the beer Feed and beer ups. Feed and beer ups. Yeah, you know that hyper have a feed coming out now that is going to be a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a special feed that coming out of there now, and the association is promoting it because you know once you're with the association, you can buy the feed through the association. Mm -hmm. A significant cheaper cost. Yeah. So we can talk about it. Yeah, man, that's what I got because my man also sees 60 goats with great uh, uh, yeah. You know, and, and it's a must because we give them as a tree. But, so we use the beer up to build it up and, and um, stuff like that. The, the genetics that you have here? Mm, in terms of bloodline? Bloodline or the breed types? Alright, um, me and me, me do great. I get my box them from like Mr. Bernard from sometime Maki and first Graham Archer. Over years them called me from 2009. And 2009 I just well I mean my family, my wife, me and my daughter them during the course of time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm raising pad. In I eat and so. So I use new bean buck. I use boar buck. Right, so I get the top buck them. And I put them on the graded mother them. And I try to pick out the, the mother them when I know um, carry bigger housing. So I keep them can grow fast. I have like, I have a kid there so I grow very fast. What, two months and two weeks. And me, me that try and mix with the new beard with the red coat is a sheep. Sheep. Sheep on the 23rd of March. So, we do it, man. And, and see your mother here. Yes. And her father that we do. Animals them will graze, you realize that so they carry nice ticks and so so. Like sometimes once a external month. External parasites. Yes, the external ones. Like once a month, we get the animal and spray. Like we put them in the pub like that, a confined space, and we spray them. And we use like soap and tin mixed with chia ticks. And we kind of water it down that's in a full burn. And, and we spray them. And when they come out now, we, we, we spray pen. When you lock them up, so that's why we don't spray them in a pen. We spray them and we spray it pen so we can go on them place them. In terms of cleaning now, so my farmer them me tell them say alright, every month hire somebody to come in and just make a big clean. Be a You know me I don't give them like a soft firm or no. I don't have to give them nothing too hard. And, and, and just because them go out. I know this you have a neem tree at your at your at your Yeah neem tree if every now and then we cut it down and give them and, give them. and leave drop and them get it. And need them in the way they feed. Oh, so, then, so, so feed. you have a lot of natural um, yeah, worm in the, in yeah, the um, field. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Sometimes I cut one little video. You know, if you take back, uh, sometimes you, you can't listen to everything. Yeah. But I'm on a talk. Oh, so, so so you mean you record the videos yeah, man, that we record, do on the seminars? Yeah, man. Oh, I listen back to it. Listen back to it. Myself. So, can we have some good technical people, people who really train us and you know mm -hmm. give us good advice on how to rear animals? And mm -hmm. even with the internal parasites, mm -hmm. our aim and goal, which you seem to have accomplished, is to not be able to, you, you, you shouldn't need to have to worm your animals, generally speaking. Generally, yeah. Yes, you want to avoid worming as best as possible. And any animal uh, that, that, that you have, him go to bush with the, yeah, the, I'm the goat. think a goat. One so, bass, one, one bass. bass. One bass, look at one year, one year's gone. <laughs> you fight half of the dog a bush and about three dogs. So what do to protect the goat? Then? Yeah man, protect the goat. Then. So another one, about two, you're yeah, right. You go to the near man. Yeah. We sometimes travel the valley and some narrow roads where only one car can pass. I've got this episode right now. Let's see who we are. What kind of feed is this? I'm a pure mixed with wheat, and a and a crushed corn. What? Crushed corn? Crushed corn. Oh, crushed corn. Oh, the cracked one here. Yeah. You yeah. use cracked corn. 
Yeah, yeah. high pro, high pro, and sell the crap coin. Mm -hmm. And you and look at look at the roof. Eh? You use the, 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 the post. Yeah, man, round post. Round post you use under the it's roof. roof you see that roof? Like three or nice. three. Look or at the roof. Mr. Brown, look at what they do. They put the complete palette and then the white space. They put a strip, strip in between. Yeah, they they strip in between so that the foot them don't drop through. Very yeah. neat, very good idea. Yeah. Um, you know, because a six, because a one be six this, you know, I lose all I, all I done. But what we do is that we, we the farmer now would I get him push broom. No, the main thing with this slatted floor you know, is yes. more the urine than anything else. Everything. More the, how much you think a pen like this cost you? Alright. In terms of Roughly material. The, everything, overall uh, cost. Pen like this, we, we, we run a. We run a. Because um, this is alright. Tell you the size, right? This is a 30 by 24. Okay. A 35 by 24. And the total, and the total money that is supposed to cost. You buy a little two before, most round posts, and a few yards, and a pallet, so that they run up like probably 250. Go around 50 million like this. Yeah. And, the, and the, this is all, this is all, whole heap of gold. Where you get all these using? You have to source them again. Source them. Oh, so you put you put the feeder here and the feeder that side, huh? yes. so you don't you don't like to feed front to front like this. No, you feed no. back to back. Yes. Oh. The FAO program with the housing also because they came here they they, they really pushed this housing development of, of, of using zero grazing housing. Yes. They also brought that here in a big way, very very big way. And since the introduction, because it was here before, you know. But they really came and, and, and pushed it in a big way. And that was one of the positives of the FAO program. Yeah. Housing bring better gold. Because when rain time, this area flood, flooded when it rain time, you know. Okay. But it won't bother them. Right. Because right. the traps set up and we are set up here. Um, traps, so them now go, them now go You don't outside. get the foot rot and the, mm -hmm. the parasite problems and all of the problems. And yes. another thing too is like when the rain is falling, yes. you have so much grass. Yeah, and man. sometimes you can't graze the animals because, because the place is wet it's and really muddy. Yeah, you can just cut and carry and give them, which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. But it is great how far you have reached, you know, with this thing from when I met you a couple of years couple ago. Years. And what yeah. you're doing now, you know, yeah, and man. the amount of animals, and your animals really, really, really look very well. You know, you're really doing a, a impressive. Yes.